Welcome, fellow adventurers, to Zelda World, the ultimate channel for all things Legend of Zelda. I'm your host, Rain, and today we have an epic journey ahead. But before we dive in, be sure to hit that subscribe button and activate the notification bell to join our community of Zelda enthusiasts. Now, let's embark on our quest. Hey there, heroes. In this episode, we'll be exploring the captivating realm of Hyrule in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. Whether you're a seasoned adventurer or just starting out, we've got some invaluable beginner's tips to help you on your journey. Are you ready? Let's dive in with our first tip. Get acquainted with your new skills on the Great Sky Island. This tutorial section allows you to learn and practice essential abilities like Ultra Hand, Fuse, Ascend, and Recall. Take your time to familiarize yourself with these skills before venturing to the surface. Moving on, it's time to tackle the main story and unlock the first Skyview Tower. Huh. This pivotal moment grants you the Paraglider, a fantastic tool for traversing the vast world of Tears of the Kingdom. So make progress and enjoy the breathtaking views along the way. Remember, fellow adventurers, don't be afraid to break your weapons. Weapon durability is part of the game, but worry not, as weapons are plentiful. Engage in combat and explore caves to find replacements whenever needed. As you explore Hyrule, pick up everything you come across. Just like in Breath of the Wild, resources are abundant in Tears of the Kingdom. Gather materials such as bright bloom seeds, spicy peppers, flame fruit, ice fruit, and bomb flowers. They will prove invaluable for cooking and crafting your way to success. Keep an eye out for Zonai devices on the Great Sky Island. These Zonai dispensers offer capsules containing powerful devices and tools. Don't hesitate to spend your Zonai charges on acquiring these devices early in your adventure. They'll greatly aid your quest. Hyrule is filled with hidden treasures in the form of caves and wells. overlook these secret locations, as they often house valuable items, materials, and even fairies. Some caves even reward you with rupees for discovering them. Happy exploring! Utilize the Ascend ability to your advantage. This skill allows you to climb surfaces swiftly making it perfect for navigating caves, reaching elevated areas, or bypassing obstacles. Make sure to employ it whenever the need arises. Need some extra rupees? Sell your gems. In the early game, prioritize selling gems as they don't significantly boost weapon attack power. The value of different gems varies, with diamonds being the most valuable. Cash in on those shiny treasures. And speaking of valuable resources, save your Zonaite for energy cell upgrades. Zonaite is a rare material that can be used to enhance energy cells, which power Zonai devices. Instead of selling Zonaite for rupees, invest it wisely in crystallized charges for your energy cell upgrades. Lastly, don't forget to acquire a trusty horse. These majestic creatures are reliable means of transportation across Hyrule. You can find them grazing in the fields of central Hyrule. Sneak up on them and press A to capture and ride them. Horses can follow roads and ensure safer travels throughout the kingdom. And there you have it, brave adventurers. 
our essential beginner's tips for Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom. We hope these insights will guide you on your heroic journey. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your fellow Zelda fans. Be sure to subscribe to Zelda World for more exciting content like this. Until next time, may the Triforce be with you.